This video is freeware, so you can use it as you wish. Gaddafi arrested. Yahoo! Greetings. For many decades I read and followed Bible prophecy teachers. And they painted a picture in my mind. I heard that in the last days someone called the Antichrist would come. I heard that he would persecute Christians. I heard he would attack Israel and the Jews. I heard he would lead a religion. A religion that would deny God the Father and God the Son. The Antichrist would get a second in command. The second in command is called the False Prophet. The False Prophet will cause all men to worship the Antichrist. The religion will be pushed to be a one world religion. So this is the picture the Word of God paints of the last days. Christian teaching has also described a revived Roman Empire. This is because the Antichrist will lead a one-world government. But I think the specific revived Roman Empire is an interpretation. Now that you can see this rough picture of Christian end-time teachings, allow me to ask you one question. The question does have multiple parts. If the Word of God says that all men will be forced to worship, and if all men means that all men will be compelled, where are the Muslims in this picture? Where is Islam in this Bible prophecy? Do you think Muslims will disappear from the earth? Perhaps they will be hiding in plain sight. Perhaps they are in this picture. As always, be a good Berean. Read the Word of God. It is the final authority. Not what I say, not what anyone else says. So where are the Muslims? Where is Islam in Bible prophecy? Maybe the answer is revealed in Islam's eschatology. Islam teaches that a man called the Enlightened One, the Mahdi, will come. Islam teaches that the Mahdi will lead Islam and help it grow. Islam denies that God is a father and denies Jesus is his son. Islam teaches Issa will return and perform miracles. Islam teaches Issa will break the cross. Islam teaches Issa will convince men to convert to Islam. All except Christians and Jews and Issa will persecute them because they will not convert to Islam. While the Mahdi leads the rise of the Islamic religion, he will lead the Caliphate, the Empire of Islam, a revived Turkish Ottoman Empire. So where are the Muslims in this picture? They're all over. Do I really need to ask you where Islam is in this picture?
So let's look again at the picture painted by the Bible. Remember I asked you a question. Where are the Muslims in this picture? Can you see them now? Can you see the Mahdi, the Antichrist? Can you see the false prophet, Issa? So where is Islam described in Bible prophecy? It is described in the Bible as the religion of the Antichrist. It is described as the one world religion of the Antichrist. It is described as the religion that will persecute and kill Christians and Jews. If you call yourself Muslim, if you think you want to submit yourself to God, you need to shake in fear to the core of your soul. The Word of God, the Torah, the true Injil, reveals that you are following Satan's religion of the last days. I hope and pray that God allows you to see the truth so clearly presented to you in these pictures. May the Spirit of God open your eyes to the light, your ears to the truth, and your heart to His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. See perhaps also, Providence, 24th April 2005, After the First and the Second Contact. See, if possible, these videos. Only 22 days passed. And then, 